Hi again, I'm back to talk about Shadow More. In this video, I'll be demonstrating the mechanic Persist. Let's take a look at Safehold Elite. Safehold Elite has Persist, which means it gets a second lease on life. Here's how it works. If I play Shock on Safehold Elite, it does two damage and sends Safehold Elite to the graveyard. When a creature with Persist is put into the graveyard from play, check whether it had any minus one, minus one counters on it when it left play. If it did, it stays dead. But if it didn't, it's returned to play under its owner's control with a minus one, minus one counter on it. That means that Persist will usually only work once. If Safehold Elite is destroyed now, Persist won't bring it back because it has a minus one, minus one counter on it. But let's back up for a second. If you have a way to remove that minus one, minus one counter, for example, you put a plus one, plus one counter on Safehold Elite and the two counters annihilate each other, then Persist will be active again and you can re-resurrect Safehold Elite. Once it returns to play, it's an entirely new creature. It's affected by summoning sickness. On the plus side, if it's a creature that has a comes into play ability, like Woodfall Primus, that ability will trigger again when it comes back from the graveyard. How can you stop your opponent's creatures with Persist? There are two main ways. While a card with Persist is temporarily in your opponent's graveyard, you can remove it from the game with a card like Cremate. If it's removed from the game, it can't come back. The other way is to put minus one, minus one counters on the creature while it's in play. Persist doesn't just get shut off by its own minus one, minus one counters. Persist is shut off by any minus one, minus one counters. Luckily, Shadowmoor has plenty of ways to get minus one, minus one counters on a creature. And that about summarizes Persist. It's a cool, creepy way to get some extra play out of your creatures.